Well, we made it to Estes, up the new road off of 34 in, in Loveland. And it looks like all kinds of things going on up here. It's, you know, it's a big holiday weekend before the 4th of July. There's a lot of people up here. Roads are crowded. And we're up here with this new 2018 Ram 2500. It's a limited tungsten edition. So it's the top of the top. Oh, here comes the wind. Anyway, my cousin Chuck here has helped me on this great adventure. So what kind of power do we have? 370 horsepower at 800 foot-pounds torque. Wow, that is That's good. Great. That's good. Got you out of the nursing home for something. <laughs> but uh, we're going to ride all into the mountains here. We are towing 15,000 pounds. And this limited tungsten is 76,400 MSRP. And there's like a $1,300 pound, $1,300 freight bill on this thing for shipping. That's getting me pretty big is what shipping costs on these bigger trucks. It takes a, you know, a few more semis to haul the same amount of trucks as it does cars. But anyway, we're up here in Estes. We're going to we're testing out the exhaust brake on this. It's got the automatic. We're trying to go tell the difference between automatic and a manual, and see if there's a difference. You know, I've got my theories on it. And we've got the six-speed automatic in the tow haul mode, and we're pulling a 15,000-pound trailer we borrowed from TFL Truck, and they got it from it's, they partner with Big Tex. So join us for this review. What I always do is take a side by side and load it in the back of one of these big trucks. And this is an eight foot bed, so this is the ideal truck to try this in. And this is my Pioneer 500. It's a 50 inch rig made for those 50 inch trails, kind of like an ATV. And I've got the bigger tires on it, so we're around 51 inches wide. But I had no problem getting in the truck in between the fender wells. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. They have the widest reach of any of them, any of the brands. It doesn't have the largest glass with the widest reaches, which is what you want for a trailer. And, you know, these are very good mirrors, for especially the dually, as wide as these Ram duallys are. But uh, I really like them on these trucks. They came out in 2002 on the heavy-duty Rams, and that uh, was a big deal, and it, but they vibrated. The single arm was tough to do. The semis had problems with that. But now they've actually got it fixed in 2003. It's very sturdy, doesn't vibrate, and needs power, to, power folding, which you need for drive throughs banks, McDonald's, all of that. You see on the right side there, next to the D1, and then it has D or it has six. D1 means that's the gear it's in now, and six is the highest gear you can go. And so that number next to the D will keep changing as you drive down the road, so you know what gear you're in. And that's all on the shifter stem over here. In the shifter stem, you have this negative and positive. So to engage it, you just push on the negative button, and then. And you scroll up with the positive button, that'll get that uh, right number to a six. And the other part there I want to show you is that green auto button, which is the exhaust brake. So I'm pushing it off there, then on yellow, and that's the full exhaust brake, which is where I like to drive it. And then you push it again, it goes green. That's the automatic exhaust brake. Now there are times the right gray, you put an automatic exhaust and it will actually control it pretty well coming down the hill. So that will help a lot of people and it, it works well. Myself, I like to be in full auto where it shows yellow, full exhaust brake on. That works the best for me for slowing down. I think the automatic works well at slower speeds, but I think the full exhaust brake works better at higher speeds with the trailer. But that's something you want to experiment with on your truck if that's what you have to see which one suits you and controls the truck the best. Now, this couple, this is the Gen Y torsion, reduced neck torsion coupler. You can see where the four bolts are on the side, each one of those has four torsion rods. 
between the outside piece and the axle inside. Very similar to a horse trailer, which means you have four times four, you have 16 rubber rods for the cushion, and that's what moves up and down between the front coupler tube and the main tube that goes into the trailer. And that is what gives you the better ride. Now this truck, this Ram 3500, has rear air suspension, which is very nice. That's giving us a smooth ride. And this helps take the bounce out of the trailer so the trailer's not causing the truck to move around and bounce. So it isolates the movement of the truck on the trailer. Very good system from Gen Y Hitch. And this one here is a 30,000 pound one. It's our highest rated one and that matches this trailer. This big Tex one is a 215,000 pound axle so it's rated at 30,000 pounds. And this has the rear air suspension. You can see the tracking bar that goes across. And then that's the big airbag that replaces the coil on this 2500. And this automatically levels the trailer out, levels the truck. It's very good. And it really improves the ride. I like this system on here. It's just on the rear on a 2500. On the 1500, if you get the air ride, you get front and rear. But uh, it's heavy duty. Tracking bar keeps it from moving side to side. And it's right on top of the axle. Yeah, I love the air ride on these Ram 2500s. It's just on the rear, but I just unloaded a K5 Blazer, an old one, one of our project trucks. And you can see how high the fender well is because the weight's off of it. As soon as I start it up, that will self-adjust right back down. I love it when it levels to the load you have. Much better way to tow trailers. Well, here we are on another truck review. This is a 2018 Ram 2500. With the air suspension, we're pulling a trailer. I think it's 15,000. Pounds. This one has a capacity of 18,000 with this mid sized diesel. And we are from Loveland, Estes Park, Highway 34. I love this trailer. It's one of the best rock formations in the country. I always like driving through there. And they just fixed this road, you know, that big flood from Estes. So now we can come up here and enjoy the scenery. While we're towing this uh, Big Tex trailer we borrowed from TFL Truck. It's ready to tow 30,000 pounds. Of course, this truck isn't, but it's still a fun trader. It's 30 feet long. We've got my second generation 1994 Dodge Ram, and it's got a four inch lift, a three inch body lift, 318. And this is our rock climber, one of our project trucks. And so it is our weight for today. Get this up to 15,000 pounds with the trailer and that, that second generation 1994 Dodge Ram back there. And with me is my cousin Chuck. <laughs> Riding shotgun. A lot of people out here, this is, you know, the, going, coming toward the week of July 4th. So everybody and their dog is up here having fun in the mountains. This has a lot of switchbacks up through here and a lot of curves. This is this limited edition Ram, and it's a tungsten edition, so it has even some more features to it. So this is like the, the high end of the high end on the Ram lineup. And it's a long bed. It's a crew cab, but it's a long bed. So we're going to also try to put the Honda Pioneer side-by-side -side in the back, see if it fits. Do some trail riding this week. Today, it's all about Estes on a cool road. This is the 6.7 uh, uh, Cummins. We're going to tell you, we already told you that horsepower and torque on this. And this is a 342 rear end. According to the Moroni sticker, started out with 373, and then they, the option package put a 342, which is a very popular axle with Ram for fuel mileage and towing. Now, you know, me, I'm a big fan of the 373 and a 410. Are harder and harder to get without going dually, but uh, you could have got it on this truck. But it is a 342, and I'm getting towing 15,000 pounds, I'm getting like 9.7 miles per gallon. 
so we're not, I mean, that's decent for what this is. If we were towing, you know, at full 18,000, we'd be a little less. We're only 3,000 away from maximum towing capacity with this truck. The payload's only 1,751. And that's because of all these options. Whenever you add more weight to a truck, you lose payload and trader towing. So that's what this loaded, loaded truck is. I love the interior on this. I mean, a Ram Rebel is my favorite the interior of any truck, but the, Ram, the whole Ram line is good. This one, you know, being unlimited, it's pretty loaded. But this one, uh, strangely enough, is a light tan interior instead of the dark leather usually you see in these luxury trucks. It's a nice, nice con uh, contrast. contrast between the black and the, like the camel looking color. And I love the floor mats and design. It's just cool. And even these old, old shoot handles have got a leather lacing on it. But the floor mats are made of the carpet and you can pop them out and, and keep them dry and then hose off the rubber. This has those cool color coordinated running boards. It says wheel to wheel on them, but to me that means from the front wheel to the back wheel, but apparently it doesn't mean that to ram because these only go to the back of the cab. I, I like the longer ones if you want to get to your toolbox or get in your bed. But these are color coded to this paint. And what color of paint is this? Can you read that check somewhere on there? It tells you what color the paint is. Might be up toward the top. They do funny things on these stickers. No, it's very small print. And this has the big course towing oh, mirrors. Yeah. And these towing mirrors, you know, if you have a dually, you gotta have them out like all the time to get past those eight foot wide trucks. But on this one, we can't pull them in. We've got a trailer on the back, so we have them all extended now. Ram uses that single arm, which is good. Helps with less blind spot. You know, it's got 20-inch wheels, too. This is like a really spunky truck with all the cool stuff. Now, the exterior color, they call it a Del, Mar Del, Del Marco Red Pearl. Oh, yeah? And Del Marco coated Red exterior Pearl. paint. Yeah, I like interior this. Interior colors, indigo, frost, interior color. Okay. And they Sweet. call it a limited leather bucket seat. It looks like a camel color to me, but whatever they want to call it. I love the exterior. It's kind of like a maroon, but they have their own names for it. That's somebody pay somebody big bucks to name all these colors. But uh, this is the six-speed. This is the Ram transmission. It's a '68 RFE six-speed. Yeah, and they show the 6.7 liter Cummins. Yeah, that's, this is the mid-range. You know, there's the smaller one. Or less horsepower one goes with a manual transmission, and then there's the higher horsepower one that goes in the dualies in the 3500s with the, the Ison six speed automatic. This is that mid range one. Now, 15,000 pounds this truck because this is nothing to it. It flies, and we're high altitude too. Now we're probably between nine and 10,000 feet. This Ram heavy duty 2500 four wheel drive crew cab long box. I'm, this is the mid range Cummins, and the towing capacity is 18,000. And then with that axle ratio, and 15,000 is all we're towing, so we got plenty of room there, even with altitude. The payload can go all the way up to 2,990 on this truck, and we're only towing uh, 1,751, so we've got 1,200 pounds for you know people in the cab and the cameras and all that. And this one is the tungsten edition. It's called the limited tungsten edition, 20 inch wheels. And this has the bifunctional halogen projector, black headlamps, body color door handles, body color ram, tailgate nameplate, body color running boards, correct exhaust tip, the tungsten chrome body side molding, the tungsten chrome exterior badging, tungsten chrome ram grill, power folding tungsten trailer towing mirrors, black premium tail lights. So it's really a good looking truck with this six speed.
and we're having a good time toying with it. Nothing wrong with the power, even at altitude. So. Tons of pickup truck questions, right? Right. Where do we go for the answers? We go to the Truck Nuts book. Because we're truck nuts. <laughs> and we wrote the book, Truck Nuts. We're nuts about truck. The ultimate guy to buy the truck or yep. to look at a truck or judge at a truck. You know, whether it's diesel versus gas, new versus used, what your teenagers should learn about trucks, all that. You do all kinds of cool tests. Yeah, we do a lot of testing. We do the Ike Gauntlet, world's toughest towing test up the mountain and down the mountain. We do MPG testing on the highway, loaded with trailers. Yeah. We do off-road testing. A lot of that data is in this book as well, and it's a one-stop shop for truck information. That's true. We test trucks maximum capacity up to biggest grades you can do on the interstate. Yep. So we really put them to the test. And, you know, you can get all the facts you can't find anywhere else. We do MPG tests which you can't find on any sticker anywhere. So, you know, all that stuff that you can't find is in the book. And you can find the book at trucknutsbook.com. There are links to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and all the other bookstores as well. So read about your truck nuts. <laughs>